Tinge. Sua prima gringa. Vamos falar hoje com minha prima, que é a uh, minha única parente que mora em Nova York. Ela mora em Noho, que é um bairro ao lado do East Village, entre o East Village e... What's on the NYU. other side here? <laughs> Perto de NYU. E o nome dela é Candy. Candy! Candy. Thank you for being with us today. Delighted. Uh, you're a big fan of Amigo Gringo, of course. I am, of course. Do you even yes. know how to say... Uh... Uh, puta bada. <laughs> <laughs> Babaca? Yeah. Just quickly, how are we related? Okay. My grandfather, meaning your great grandfather, was born in 1864. Can you imagine? Then your grandfather, who would have been my uncle, was born somehow in the late 1890s somewhere. Okay. My father was born in 1910. So you are an animator. I am. Can you tell, what, what is that? I mean, people know what it is, but what is it? <laughs> to you, what is well, it? Well, for me, I started back in the day, before there were computers, before there were, you know, video, I actually yes, come... You drew things? I drew things. With your hands? With my hands on paper. Can you tell us, what do we have here? Not to get, I mean, <laughs> yes, this is I decorative. Yes, I don't have it out all the time. Right, I'm it's doing hidden. this for you. Right. This is an Emmy and it's Whoa. part of the Television Academy. It was an award for some work that we did for a children's show. It's Polly and the Pirate. Hi, I'm Polly, I'm a parent. I'm Polly, I'm a pirate. We search for treasure shouting yo ho ho. We think it's jolly that both our names are Polly. Yes, we're Polly and the Pirate. That's Polly and the Parent and here's our show. Okay, what do so we got here? I'll do a close up later. A commercial. And so one side of this was Xeroxed on the front, and then on the back you would paint the color. Oh. So that's how cells were made, and there's and that's many what this layers paint of acid. For? That's what this is for. <laughs> but you don't use this anymore. No, but I can't it's get rid decorative. of it. <laughs> how would you describe your kind of work? In the commercial business, what I am best known for is something I did before I was 30 years old. Okay. Which was for MTV. We did a whole bunch of the early MTV stuff, including the first Man on the Moon stuff. Tá vendo? Minha prima é famosa. Não, o trabalho <laughs> da minha prima é famoso. And that is a famous, iconic image. It is, and I can only say I fell into it. I wanted to do my own films, but I also needed to make a living. And most of the people in the studios were 20 years older than me. And I was just a young person. No one wanted to do animation when I got into it. It was just something that I found really cool. I met someone at a party. I constantly met meet at people party. at a party yep. <laughs> who was working uh, as an advertising agency for radio stations and they wanted um, to do an animated commercial. The new technology at the time okay. was that you could take 16 millimeter film and Xerox it so you could end up with uh, pieces of paper that were frames of film. Okay. And so we took uh, some footage of Hollywood premieres and stuff and then colored it and did all kinds of stuff oh. and threw these guys on top of it. And it was done really cheap and really fast and I was the youngest person in the studio so they gave that job to me. And it turns out that the producer, his assistant, ended up being the art director, the creative director at something that was called Warner Annex. And they were going to put together a music station where they could have clips on TV. It's interesting, by the way, that you say clips, because we would end up calling them videos. Well, yes. But in Portuguese, they still call them clips. Oh, really? That's the word for a music video, is a clip. Okay, there you go. Well, it came from clip. that. Yeah. yeah, that's very, that's quite amazing. <laughs> I've never heard anyone in English refer to a music video as a clip. Well, back then it was. Wow, so interesting. See, você está vendo que você está aprendendo do amigo gringo um programa educativo. <laughs> there you go. Provavelmente vamos ganhar um Emmy por esse programa, right? <laughs> yeah, always. I'd like to accept this uh, Emmy on behalf of amigo gringo. <laughs> Frank Olinsky came up with the design for the MTV logo, which was an M with a sort of spray painted TV. Okay. There we go. And right. TV. 
because NASA was paid for by tax dollars, all of the slides of the first moon landing were public, were public domain. Oh, that's so, interesting. <laughs> so I got these uh, four by six slides which I needed to superimpose the MTD flag on and all they, I, I said, so what are the colors or what are we, you know, because I was used to working like with people who were Pantone ready, you know, this is, this is what the colors have to be. They said, do whatever you want. They didn't even have music for it, but it was going to be rock. It was a really complicated <laughs> thing to try and test and do the artwork all within five days. But it happened, and it got on the air. It really did. <laughs> and then next was the same producer who did the California thing, got the job with MTV to do their campaign, the I Want My MTV campaign. Uh -huh. So we did all of the animation for that. What? Turn it on, leave it on. America, see the music you want to see. I want my MTV. All right. I want my MTV. I want yeah. MTV. Ow! 24 hours a day on cable TV. I want my MTV, MTV, MTV! Yeah, too much is never enough. I okay. want my MTV campaign yes. you did? Yes. yes. I just think of you as the as the no, cousin no, no, that no. put the... No, the, no. It, that, you're a pioneer. Cindy. There's Cindy. Oh, well, I see yeah. Cindy Lauper. Okay. Um, but I sort of think of you in a way of having planted that flag on the moon yourself. Well, no, that's I very sweet. But actually, what, what has happened, and this happens all the time anyway, is that after something becomes successful, uh, there's many, many people who take credit. I am willing to share credit with everybody, but it was my hands making those drawings. Wow. <laughs> so how has uh, animation changed? How has the industry changed over time? Well, when I first started, when I was 19 years old, uh, animation was basically like being a magician. There weren't any books about it. There were very few places that taught animation. <clears throat> the big studios had a whole system of starting very much at the bottom, learning the craft. Then books started getting published, letting the secrets out. By the late 90s, though, the technology started taking over. And uh, John Lasseter did Lexo Jr., which started the whole CG thing, which then became Pixar. Uh, in, in the 2D animation, the drawn stuff, it became easier and easier to not have to go through a camera service, not have to go through a film lab, and you could end up with various kinds of software, including Flash, which was one of the first, oh. to get stuff directly digitally done. Okay. So what that ended up doing was slashing budgets, and I'm not even talking 10%, I mean, I'm talking like 90%. Yeah. What about all this we hear about just like in Korea, millions of people working on The Simpsons or whatever? Well, they do, and actually they're in trouble now too because they don't need the Koreans to do that anymore. It can just be done, actually, probably India, cheaper. Korea is more expensive now and it's going to cheaper places or because yeah. the technology means you need fewer people? People. Well, both of those, yeah. Uh, so, even even when the Koreans were doing The Simpsons, they were still inking and painting it. So basically, if I came back uh, to do it, to interview an animator in 25 years, I would be talking to a robot instead of a human. Very possibly. But would the animation be as good? What what is the difference? What what do you when you see old fashioned animation and newfangled animation? What what do you see? It it has to do with time and money. I mean, in the old days, to do a 30-second commercial, we had six to eight weeks, which meant that people could actually think about it while doing the process. I get asked to do something in a week, and it still needs to be approved back and forth. Because people can see things immediately, right. they don't have to pre-imagine it, which means that basically they have to deal with uh, what can be done expeditiously? What 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 do we got here? Well, Petrobras apresenta. This is a Brazilian Anima book. Mundi. Well, some of my favorite people at animation festivals are the Brazilians who run Anima Mundi. Now, I you know what um, puxa saco means in in Portuguese? No, it means a uh, brown noser. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, but I believe you. I believe you. Some of your favorite 
they they are alegre. If that's yeah. any, yeah. if that is alegre, true. alegre, yeah? alegre. Okay. Yeah, yes. Lively, they, wonderful people. Yes, that's certainly true. And for years, they would show our work, and I never ended up going. So. So wait, I was going to ask you this. <laughs> It's, it's an emergency, as you can hear, <laughs> that you need to go to Brazil. Espero que tenha gostado do vídeo. Não esqueça que a Amigo Gringo está no Instagram. Então, estou respondendo as suas perguntas sobre Nova York, ou a língua inglesa e a cultura americana. É só escrever ou nos comentários uh, ou no Instagram mesmo. E também quero agradecer Candy Kugel. Ela vai nos ajudar com a aula de Nova York. Case. Animation is... It, it actually refers to anything that's done frame by frame. Okay. Drawings. Drawings or, you know, little clay things like Wallace and Gromit. Okay. I grew up with cartoons. Cartoons are drawn animation. Okay. And usually funny. When I was a kid, we right. watched cartoons, like on the Cartoon Network. Eu acho que isso é desenho animado. Eu não acho que vocês usem cartoon, mas eu posso estar errado. And you still refer to cartoons in print. Those are called cartoons. Just to recap. Yeah. All cartoons are animation, but not all animation okay. is a cartoon. All animated cartoons are animation. Oh, no. Never <laughs> Because if it's just a single frame in like a magazine, it's a cartoon. And now to confuse things even more, oh, no. a cartoon is what old painters used to do before they did the actual painting. So the original like sketch? sketches were called cartoons. Eu estou muito confuso, então não tem tempo para mais. Tchau. <laughs> Say goodbye to everybody. Tchau. Thank you.